In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a Supreme Spitfire, which also doubles as a sea fire in Minecraft. Now this plane was used heavily during World War II by the British Royal Air Force and also the Fleet uh, Air Arm as well. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway guys, let's get into the tutorial. So here I am on the aircraft carrier HMS Unicorn, so British aircraft carrier during World War II. So this actually did have some sea, um, sea fire versions of this, uh, which are the kind of carrier based version of this aircraft. This is where we're going to be building it guys, plonking it down on here. So in total it is 11 blocks wide, that's its whole wingtips, and it's also 11 blocks long as well. Um, so there's a couple extra blocks to try and make it look uh, right, because as we know, Minecraft never looks right. Um, I'm going to do the two kind of variants of this one. So the, the Spitfire and the Seafire, they're exactly the same whether in flight mode or if they're in takeoff mode, if you're having it on, on an aircraft carrier. Um, but also show you guys it with the wings tucked away so they can be stowed into something like this aircraft carrier, because of course at the minute it can't go down these lifts. Right, so what you're going to need is a warped slab, stairs and a warped plank, also polished blackstone slab, stair and polished blackstone the full block and also grindstone you're going to need this a couple times i've used it for the front uh, and also the wheels as well uh, and i used end rods for mine uh, you could also use you know like iron bars or potentially even chains something like that i don't know play around with a couple different things if you want so if we start right at the front of this one we're actually also going to need to grab just realized good old engine block so i used uh, a blast furnace for mine um, so we're just going to be one block above the kind of ground from here and that's going to be the front of it the whole thing you need a grindstone you can place that sideways um so it's best to actually place it there like that um it's up to you guys if you want it down or, or anything like that you can have the end rod place those on each of the sides of your grindstone uh, and now what you might need to do right here is cut in so for me <laughs> nearly dropping through the deck of an aircraft carrier not so good but there we go you have something like that um, and that's all looking good. So right behind this, we're going to have two blocks of your warped, pl warped planks, one and two. And then underneath where we've got the warped planks, we're going to have a slab. So you need to have a slab underneath there, and there's going to be five of those. So one, two, three, four, and five, like that. Cool. What we're also going to do with our stair now, we're going to have a warped stair. We're going to have this on the side. And by the way, guys, you don't have to do it out of the warped planks. It's just it's completely up to you. This is just what I went with. Uh, have a stair going on the side here, stair going this way, and then stair going this way. So you wrap it all the way around. But yeah, play around with some different colours. Show me what, you, what it looks like. Uh, do it on the other side as well. So you get that. With your polished blackstone stair, you're going to whack that in. That's going to be like the actual seat. Uh, and it just happens to show through as well. And I actually quite like the little quarter block showing through. I think it looks cool. Behind that seat, you're going to have two blocks of your warped planks. One and two, like that. So that's all looking good. What we're also going to have to do is grab that grindstone again. I'm going to put a stair underneath here. So the only way, you have to have a block down to actually do it, of course. But we're going to be around here so that it connects in underneath like that. And it is going to be on the uh, first block is where we're going to have that wheel. And I quite like these. I think the grindstone looks good um, as wheels as well. You know, really cool, versatile block that we've actually got. Uh, in Minecraft, it's quite nice, actually, to have something like that. So there we go. What we've got from there, right at the back, we're going to have a polished blackstone block right on the back there. Then we're going to have another block of warped planks. And again, underneath this warped planks, this is where we're going to have that final grindstone like that. Now, if you're having it in the air, knock off the wheels if you want to. The wheels uh, in this one actually kind of move upwards um, to kind of like tuck underneath the wing. Uh, of course, we can't do that in Minecraft, so just take it off. <laughs> it's just the easiest way to do it. Right, so right on the back, with your warped stair, we're going to have an upside down stair right on the back here. Then we're going to have a stair on top of that. And then right over here, we're going to have another stair like that. So you just get this nice little uh, kind of like tail piece there. With your polished blackstone slab, we're going to have that right on this block. Just stick out with one like that. And that looks pretty good. Okay. We're also going to have another blackstone slab on top of this block here. So where we've got that slab uh, underneath, that's where you're going to have the other bit there. And we're also going to grab 
some glass. So I just use clear glass for mine. If you want to use any of the stained glass, feel free. We're going to put two pieces of glass just over the top like that. For our polished blackstone slab, we're going to have two slabs right on the front. And that just gives it a bit of a better shape. Now, I was I was kind of debating this whether to put another slab on the back there. It's up to you guys depending on what you think it looks like. Um, but you can have another slab there or you can not have another slab. That one doesn't. Maybe this one we will do that with. And uh, we can then have a look at that. Um, and kind of compare the two. And whatever you guys want to go with, go with it. So for the wings then. Right, where we've got this stair on the side. We're going to go out with four blocks or four slabs of your polished blackstone. One, two, three and four. We're also going to need to grab dark oak trapdoors as well. I'm going to put three of them down here because the wings are really quite angled downwards at the back. So do the same on the other side. One, two, three and four. Then we're going to have three of those on the back like that. Okay, so that's your kind of like wing shape. Looks pretty good. Underneath we're going to put a slab just underneath this one to make that look a little bit smoother. Again, you can actually switch that out if you wanted to for that. I just didn't like the look of it. So that's why I didn't go with that one. But there we go, that's what we're going to have there. So we're also going to need to give it that kind of look that it's got. You can easy, either use uh, tripwire hooks on the sides of these ones, or you can use levers. It's totally up to you guys, whatever you think looks best. Um, you know, that's what it looks like with trip tripwire hooks. And that's what it looks like with, with the levers. So having them sticking out. I actually quite like the levers. They stick out quite a lot, but actually they look pretty good. So maybe I'm going to stick with that from now on. So there we go. So what we can now do is find a little bits of detail so we can grab an item frame. There it is. And also a red concrete block. Because because this one being RAF, we've got to put the yeah, got a logo on there. Did try a banner. I wasn't too keen, but we're just going to put the, this in here. And then put your red concrete on the side there like that. That's kind of closest we can get to it at the minute. Now, finally, grab yourself a spruce sign. And what we're going to put in here, because this one, for my one, it's a uh, one being used by the fleet uh, air arm, which is back in the day, back in World War II, was the kind of like flying part of the, the Royal Navy. So mine's a sea fire. And then you can have some sort of code, you know, whatever you want to do. Something like this. Now, somebody taught me this. If you hold down control and then press your middle wheel, it will copy the metadata, which allows you just to paste it like that. I can't remember who said it, but you rule if you're watching this video. It was absolutely amazing. I did not know it existed. Um, and then at the top, I think on my one, I ended up seeing one of them with v VL on it. I don't know what that means, but I ended up putting that on up to you guys as well. And we'll use that trick again. Hold down control and then the middle, middle uh, mouse button to select it and then that will copy the metadata which is pretty awesome so there we go that is what we get for the base plane so that would be your spitfire um or your sea fire uh, in the kind of flight position again you know that's where without the extra slab on the back um, and also the tripwire hooks but you know this one extra slab on the back and the uh the levers instead so how do we actually make it look like it's uh, if it is the sea fire variant the carrier based variant of this aircraft how do we actually make it where it's it can fit into one of these hangars or into a standard world war ii aircraft hangar um, and tuck itself away so if we take the wings off what we're going to do is we're just going to have dark oak trapdoors and i couldn't find anything else that could do it and until we get vertical slabs it's the best we got so what we're going to have right here is we go into the side like that then we're going to go on to this way of going around and do two slabs like that and then we put an extra slab sticking out now this looks a bit weird but it's because the wing does fold here but then there's a little bit at the end of the tip of it actually folds again my guess is it's to do with the height of hangers on the back we're just going to go one two and three like that so we're going to have that slightly out so you end up with that kind of a, a thing looking like that okay and that gives it the look of it's still dropping down because of course you know when that's folded down it'd be the same as kind of like what we got here so just on the other side the front one we just have one going that way then we have two going the other and then the end the tip of it can go that way and then the back ones are just all on the same level and there's three of them so that's what it looks like when it's kind of got its wings up 
It's not the best, it's the best I can do though, you know. And if you don't like the dark oak, of course, uh, probably what I'd recommend doing is use the spruce trapdoor. Um, that kind of also looks alright, it doesn't look too bad. So, um, yeah guys, that is it for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you're wanting to build this aircraft carrier that I've got here, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so as soon as that tutorial is out, it will be available in the description, which hopefully shouldn't be too long since I'm nearly finished with it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.